Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. It is September 13th. What an awesome, awesome morning that God has created again. I can't believe how awesome, awesome this day has to, is starting out. I just am amazed at how beautiful it is outside. Just uh, phenomenal. So... so the verse today is um, Colossians 3.2, where it says, Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. I think this is very key um, for me this morning. Um, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. I love stuff. And maybe you, you feel the same way. You just like... Um, when I was really little, I had this need to have as much, as many pairs of shoestrings as I could. I mean, there's pictures of me with a, with a little, um, uh, uh, lunchbox full of shoestrings. Well, as I got older, it was other stuff like watches or, uh, now it's like, um, uh, I love technology, so um, so I'm always looking for gadgets. I love gadgets. There's, they're just, they just intrigue me. And then, I yesterday I get a call from a daughter, just uh, upset about her computer, and she's on the mission field, and and I was just like, wow. And, and this verse this morning it says, "Set your mind on things above, not on." things of earth earth things and so I just remember talking to her yesterday I says you know don't worry about it. God has this God can take care of the need and and don't worry about it and and so we're just trusting the Lord in that but just think of how much we place our trust in the things of this world and uh, sit and forget to set our minds on things above I mean, it's 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 so true in this in this world. Uh, we we use you know this morning I'm using uh, an iPad to do these devotions every day. It's a tool. It's not what drives me. You know, it's not my salvation. My salvation comes from Jesus Christ, and so when we really come down to it, the foundation of, of stuff though we need those things it really when a comparative to the relationship that we have in Christ um, that's that's really where it comes down to so the verse this morning just kind of really uh, broadsided me this morning um, sorry itchy nose this morning um, about the the things that are most important. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. So choosing to set your mind on those things that are above and most important, and, and things that, uh, instead of things that drive us. Uh, the picture of the little boy with shoestrings that I was when I was, oh, I don't know, five, six. If you used to carry around shoestrings, maybe it was even younger than that. Um, the person that uh, collect watches, which I don't do that much anymore, because man, throughout ministry I had a just a container shoebox just full of watches that I've changed out all the time. And then now, where I, had, I love gadgets, I just you know, but but they ain't my driving force. Jesus Christ is my driving force. <laughs> So, just want to encourage you, even in your own life, when you look around the things, I'm in my living room, I look around, okay, this is just stuff, so I'm gonna, this is earthly stuff, so I'm going to set my mind on things above. So, that's the verse this morning, so Colossians 3, 2, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Though we use all this stuff, all these tools, all these 
all the stuff that we need. But we need to keep our mind on the things above. Because eventually this stuff will all go away. And all we will have is a relationship with Christ. And that's the most important thing. So think about it this morning. Think about that. What's that most important? Anyway, so I want to encourage you. So get out your notebook. Write this verse out. Colossians 3, 2. It says, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Write that out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. Well, prayer requests. Pray for Abby. Um, uh, I shared the need of the prayer request. She has um, uh, her computer uh, is getting looked at, hopefully today or tomorrow. So please pray that um, whoever's looking at it can just fix it. But we're just going to trust the Lord. The Lord got this. Um, the verse this morning just kind of really set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. And I'm not worried about it because God has this. Whatever it looks like, however the outcome looks like, God has this. Um, I know Abby, I keep praying for Abby because this is um, new for her. She's in the mission field and, and she does need that tool. So, um, well... That prayer request of that, and um, and I can't think of anything else. Um, pray for those that are having the hurricane right now. Um, I have friends that are in North Carolina that uh, are going to be hit soon. So uh, I know I was watching posts from that their church, the church I pat, youth pastor at for a while, and they were uh, having <laughs> opening church to let people stay there. But, uh, so let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for this morning. I pray that you bless those who are watching now and those who are watching later. I pray that you encourage them. I pray that you bless them. I pray that, Lord, that you will just be with Abby today. And, Lord, help her just to re realize that you're in control of all things. And, Lord, that you'll take care of all things and that you provide for all things. And that even this situation with her computer, Lord, that you've already got it worked out. And so we give that to you. We pray for those that are going through to the hurricane, that you just protect them, that, Lord, that you keep them all safe. And we thank you for that, Lord. I pray for even the unspoken uh, requests that are out there, Lord, that you know of. I pray that you just answer them. And we thank you for that in your name. Amen. Hey, if you have any prayer requests and you're watching here on Facebook and it's public, you can just put it in the comment area underneath this video. Or if it's private, you can message me and I'll just put it on my prayer list and just keep you in prayer. But secondly, um, if you're watching on YouTube or on the website, go ahead and email me those prayer requests at b1agks at gmail.com. Anyways, God bless you. Remember, this is the last devotional for this week. Um, if you live in Coffee County, come join us for a service at 1030 on Sunday morning. We have special guest Rick Unruh from uh, the National Office going to be with us. So uh, come join us. Anyways, God bless you. We love you, and we'll talk to you hopefully on Sunday. But if we don't see you Sunday, we'll see you Monday. God bless you. Love you guys.